Imagine writing a PhD thesis, yeah, and then like a figure is like in the Nobel Committee's <laughs> cartoon. It's so you know, it's so legendary. It's so legend, dude. Like this is literally in his thesis. Uh, we are on day two of Nobel Prize week for the Physics Prize. We just watched the live press conference. Macroscopic quantum tunneling was the winner. So quantum tunneling has always been um, something that is well known but it's been well known for small numbers of particles, right? But this year's Nobel Prize winners did was experimentally confirm quantum tunneling and quantum behavior for like on the order of a billion individual mm. particles, all acting together and quantum tunneling together. Interesting. Okay, okay yeah. so it's, it's several orders, orders of, of magnitude, magnitude above that sort of undergraduate level. Understand. In 1978, Anthony Leggett, who is another Nobel Prize winner. He started asking, well, can I make a macroscopic tunneling experiment happen where instead of doing Cooper pairs that are tunneling, the and 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 like each little thing is treated like a like a, a quantum mechanical state, what if the entire circuit Was. is a quantum machine? Right. Right? It's yes. like a it's like a the entire circuit is an as atom. Yes. In some sense. Yes. That's doing this quantum mechanics, okay? That's the idea, right? right? And the entire circuit is made up of like 10 to the 9 things. Right. And can all of those 10 to the 9 things mm -hmm. move as a single quantum object, mm -hmm. right? That well, tunnels as, and does uh, all of the stuff that I wanted to. So that is where we get to UC Berkeley. Okay. One of my favorite universities in California. So we're in the physics building, the UC Berkeley, legendary building right in the center of campus right next to the giant tower that UC Berkeley campus is well known for. That's the building where, you know, Oppenheimer's been in. Um, <laughs> that's the building where plutonium was discovered. Several Nobel Prizes. And actually, now they got a plus three on a single day. That's unbelievable. John Clark, at the time, after his PhD at Cambridge, he um, became a professor at UC Berkeley. He was joined by Michel Devore, who was a postdoc in his lab, and Jean Martinez, who was a PhD student. All three of them were in the same lab, and they start asking if they can create a superconducting electrical circuit with a Josephson junction that has this property, where billions of these Cooper pairs, 10 to the 9 right. particles, are acting like a single quantum particle, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Can we do this? Okay, so, and now, this is their setup, okay? This is actually a photo that's adapted from John Martinez's thesis oh, okay okay 